Didn't you dinner? That film, I can say without fear of contradiction, is the finest piece of glomp you cooked this week. <laughs> what was it? It was called Tripper alla Romana. Say again, Phil? Tripper alla Romana. It's a famous dish. Sounds dodgy to me. Didn't come out of a tin from Italy, did it? <laughs> no, Ted, it wasn't even frozen. It was a real handmade meal. Hmm. Dad, look, what's all the fuss about? You liked it so much, you had three helpings. And two of those were without tomato sauce, so what more do you want? <laughs> I want to know its Australian name. It was tripe. Tripe? Blech! Oh, I hate tripe. What are you trying to do to me? Poison me? Oh, Ted, you loved it. I did not. I hated it. I always have done. No wonder the country's in a mess. A man comes home to find wild tripe sneaking round his dining room and, and jumping down his throat when he least expects it. Someone should blow tripe up. Oh, Ted, what does it matter what it was called? You still liked it? I hate it. It's like eating rubber ice cream. <laughs> Well-known fact that everyone hates tripe. That's why the tripe growers have to get a government subsidy. Oh, <laughs> No, no, it's true. During the Depression, the whole country nearly went under with uncontrolled tripe. You no doubt heard of the 1933 tripe plague. Rubbish, what tripe plague? No, look, it's true. The bloody Poms bought out a pair of tripe so they could hunt them. Next thing you know, Queensland's infested with wild tripe. <laughs> Growing faster than we could eat it. Eating as fast as we possibly can, we were. Dad, don't be silly. This is just another one of your crazy stories. Crazy? No, no, no. It's true. They they had to introduce the prickly pear to get rid of it. And then the, the prickly pear went mad. They had to bring out the cane toad to eat it. <laughs> you know the next thing that'll happen? Oh, uh -huh, what? A man will come home and find a cane toad sitting on his bloody plate. <laughs> his wife will try to tell him that it's a, a rissole with a grin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure, Ted. Stop saying that. They eat frogs in France, Ted. They eat anything in France, Phil. <coughs> Snails, horses, kangaroos. Uh, 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 uh. They don't have kangaroos in France. That's because they ate them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, Ted. Stop saying that. Oh, come on, Greg. It's time for the dishes. <laughs> oh, why do I always have to do them? Simple mathematics, Greg. You're a girl. <laughs> and more than that, you're a daughter. Well, I don't want to be a daughter. Bit late for that now, girlie. <laughs> Should have thought of that when I bought you that pink cot. Hey, your father's right, dear. Now, come on, you can squirt the detergent. You always like doing that. <laughs> but that was when I was a kid. I've grown up now. I'm a married woman. You may be a married woman, young lady, but you're never too old for detergent. Look at Madge. <laughs> no! I'm not doing it. It's Bruno's turn. No, it's not. Why not? You do the dishes at home. Her bloody crawler. <laughs> do you want to do them, Bruno? No, thanks, Mrs. B. Well, there you are. Come on, Greg. No, I'm not going to do them. Bruno should. Oh, look, I'll settle this. We'll do it fair and square, and the loser has to do the dishes, all right? No tricks. No tr Ted can be the judge, OK? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Right, away you go. Right. What are three threes? Oh, that's an easy one. Even I know that. All right, what is it? Three threes? Uh, oh, well, ah, uh, it's not my question. I'm a judge. <laughs> oh, Miss Smarty Camel Knees, you answer the question. Three threes are nine. I win. Th no, you don't. Wrong. Three threes are ten. Hey. Three threes are ten. Look, I'll prove it. You got three of anything? Oh, here, that's close to spring. Listen, three threes are nine. They're not. Three threes are ten. Look. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three threes are ten. I win, you wash. I can't be three threes, aren't I? You cheated. Ted, did I cheat? No, I saw it right out loud with my own eyes. Oh, so did I, Greet. Oh, no, you won fair and square. But... Oh, now, come on, Greet. You gave your word. A bargain's a bargain and a special's even cheaper. Oh, and you've made your dishes, now you'll have to lie in them. Oh! Hey, that's a pretty neat trick, Brune, mate. How'd you do it? Well, actually, Ted, I have to tell the truth. I did lie. What do you mean? Well, three threes aren't ten. Quite right. Three threes are eleven. Hey? Look, you watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three threes, eleven. Pick on me, grandmother. Can you do that with money? Bruno, <laughs> that is just amazing. Now, all these years, I've always thought three threes are nine. But they're not the really ten. <laughs> Just shows how dim you are, Phil. <laughs> Any fool can see the three threes are eleven. Right, Brune, mate? <laughs> I've worked it out. What? 
It's metric conversion, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's why these days you only get nine eggs to the dozen. <laughs> Quite right, Phil. <laughs> Bloody metrics. A man knew where he was with pounds, shillings and cents. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. Old bloody covered country's gone decimal mad. Yes. <laughs> At least a man, thank God, can still buy a dozen bottles of beer. Oh, not the new ones, Ted. They're in centigrade. Or decimal inches or something. <laughs> How many Fahrenheit's in a litre of beer, Ted? Oh, about 39.4 to the schooner, I think, Phil. Oh, uh, inches? No, kilos. Listen. Oh, no, that can't be right. Now, I buy chops in kilos. Oh, well, kilo metres. Um, who cares? We're all being ripped off anyway. Oh. Someone should blow the government up. I know what it is. It must be kilo jewels. Because oh. I used to be five foot six before the metric conversion board got me. No, Mum, you don't understand. You are still five foot six. No, I'm not, Bree. Yes, you are. No, I can't be. Why not? Because I've got my high heels on. <laughs> Listen! Listen, don't you go shouting at me. If anyone's going to shout at me in my house, I am. You keep your fruit shop shouts to the squalor of your own house. <laughs> Listen, I can hear something in the roof. Oh, <laughs> that must be little Rex. Rex? Who's Rex? Our possum. Why do you call your possum Rex? Well, possum, spelled backwards, is mossop. Oh. <laughs> so, Rex, mossop. You know that man who shouts through his nose? How long have you had a possum in the roof? Too long, bloody thing. Someone should blow possums up. <laughs> Little Rex doesn't do any harm. Doesn't do any harm? Listen, I work all day, he works all bloody night. I come home to try and get some sleep, he gets out of bed, puts his footy boots on, dances round the room and stomps and wheezes. Sounds like the pink bats have got asthma. Well, why don't you hire one of those pest firms to come and catch him? I'm not going to put my hard-earned money out for some yobbo and overalls to come over and put his drug-crazed feet through my ceiling. I'll catch him himself. You? Yes, me. When I was a boy, oh. I caught hundreds of possums with nothing more than a bloody matchbox and an aspro. Oh, what <laughs> bull? No, it's true. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going down to get myself a possum trap. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What about the aspro and the matchbox? Oh, modern matchboxes are, are no good. Why not? A possum won't fit in them. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, you can't buy a possum trap tomorrow, because tomorrow is the Bullpit family barbecue day. Oh, no, not again. Yes, again, again. We, we arranged we'd have a barbecue one day a year, and tomorrow's the day. And you're going to all have fun whether you like it or not. Listen, Ted, mate, if I can prove to you that three threes are 13, can we stay home? No, nah, you don't get out of it that easy, mate. I saw that trick you did, and that's all it was, a bloody trick. Three threes are nine, and always will be. Oh, yeah. Watch. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, bloody wob. <laughs> Dear, what are you doing with that ladder? I'm going to get that possum. Oh, no, Ted, if you miss him, it'll come crashing through the ceiling and I've, I've just vacuumed everything. <laughs> I'm not going to hit him with it. I've got a trap. Where? Down here. Oh. Oh, so the possum comes through the manhole, down the ladder, and into the trap. <laughs> it's the other way round. Oh, oh, I see, I see. He gets into the trap first, and then he climbs up. <laughs> Just a minute. How can he climb up a ladder with his feet in a trap? God, it's hard. Will you listen to me? Look, I take this trap up the ladder, put it in the roof, and he jumps into the trap and bobs your uncle. Oh, that won't work, Ted. You'll have to have an extension cord. I'm not going to strangle him. <laughs> what do I want an extension cord for? So you can put a lamp up there. What do I want a lamp for? Because it's dark up there. <coughs> I mean, if, if it's so dark that the possum won't be able to see the trap and then he won't know where he's supposed to go. Tra Listen. Even if you put up a big sign saying, Trap this way. It wouldn't work. Because the possum couldn't read it. Of course he can't bloody read it. He could if there was a light on. Oh, God, it's... Look, look, listen to me, look. See this piece of cheese? Right. Yeah. Now, I put it inside the trap. The possum smells the cheese, comes in, jumps inside, and he's caught. Oh, Ted. A possum's not a mouse. It's an Australian marsupial native with a pouch. You should give it something more Australian, something more tempting. 
Like a lamington. <laughs> Possums don't eat lamingtons. Oh. Well, what about a Vegemite sandwich? <laughs> he's getting bloody cheese, whether he likes it or not. Look, he's a rodent. All rodents like cheese. Look at the wog. Oh. <laughs> I suppose you know what you're doing. Yeah, of course I know what I'm doing. Me and possums go together like, like Laurel and Hart. Well, don't you be too long up there, because Grisha and Bruno and Merle and Bobby... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Ted, just a minute, I forgot. Oh, what? Mind you don't bump your head. <laughs> Bloody woman. Don't leave that ladder lying around either. It's bad luck. You'll get seven years black cats for that. Hello, Mark. Oh, cooey, Greg. And a big cooey to you too, Bruno. And a big ridgy ditch back to you, Mrs. B. Oh, Bruno, you're sounding so Australian. And one of these days I'll let you call me Thelma. Oh, thanks, Thelma. Not yet. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. B. Well, we all set for Ted's big barbecue. Yes, Mum, we bought the raincoats. And umbrellas, gum boots. Now, stop it, both of you. All this talk of rain's putting a wet blanket over everything. I am sure that it's going to be fine. Oh, well, it's even worse, Mum, because that means Dad will actually light the barbecue. Oh, don't worry, Greet. I've thought about that. I've got the fire brigade on standby. <laughs> what about the neighbours? Well, I invited them, but they suddenly all have to go away for the weekend. <laughs> Isn't it funny? People on both sides of us, and they've both got dangerously ill grannies somewhere back of Burke. Well, it's funny you should mention that, Mrs B, because I can feel a sick granny coming on. Come on, let's go, oh, Greg. Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, where is Grumblebum? Oh, he's up the ladder with a cage full of coon, because Rex can't read in the dark. <laughs> I had to ask. Right, that's done. Stand by for one pushy possum in the back. No, thanks, Ted. I'll still have the chops. <laughs> Watch it, Wog. Do you bring the grog? Yeah. Lots? Yeah. What sort of grog? Red wine. <laughs> That'll be right. Poofter juice. <laughs> Look, barbecues are for outdoor rugged Australians who drink beer, not fairy little foreigners who sit around with their legs crossed, smelling corks and sniffing and drinking with their little pinkies in the air. <laughs> Real rugged and outback you are. You can't even catch a possum. Listen, the moment he smells that cheese, he'll be biting through the bars to get into that trap. Cheese? You don't use cheese to catch a possum. That's how much you know. It's not cheese, it's coon. What's that got to do with ha. it? Look, coon cheese was named after your North American coon, raccoon, in fact, which eats it in its natural state. Now, your coon is related to the possum. It's in the possum family. Therefore, ergo, I eat a boot. QED, quite a rat demonstrandum. One trap possum. I win, you lose. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> I eat apples. Hey? possums they eat apples you should have an apple in your trap you should have a pineapple up your hey, uh, <laughs> the only way to catch a possum is with an apple cheese apple cheese apple cheese apple cheese apple cheese, cheese. apple apple gotcha hey, uh, stop this bickering yeah yeah well i'm i'm going down to the pub to get some beer hey, hey, hey. where are you going with the apple what apple that apple oh this oh yeah oh well i just thought i'd munch it on the way down to the pub is there any law against it? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, Ted. Uh, stop saying that. <laughs> Bloody wog, you give him your own daughter and he thinks he owns the world. Someone should blow weddings up. <laughs> right. I'm going down to the pub now. Goodbye. Come on, Rex. Have a nice apple. <laughs> Today's paper in the lounge? Yes. Oh. Heidi, howdy, everybody. Oh. Here comes the party. Speaking of Hiroshima. It's Bob. <laughs> Shut up, Bob. And Merle. Hello, world. Yes, it's me, oh, Bobby Pulpit. God. Don't swoon, I'm human. If you're human, why do you scratch your ear with your feet? <laughs> Watch it, Merle, or I'll donate your teeth to the salvos. Again. You wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Hey, Bob, Bob, Merle. Happy, happy. Remember. A clenched fist is only a helping hand with a knot in it. Hey? Hey? You know what I mean. Yeah, sure. Where's uh, old Grumblebum? He's gone to the pub. Why don't you go and have a beer with Bruno? I'm sure he'd be thrilled to see you again. Oh, right. Oh, Merle. What? Make yourself useful. Sit on these and keep them cold. <laughs> Hey, Bruno. <laughs> How you going, Brun? You're looking good. 
How are you fixed for wheels, old buddy? I'm right, thanks, Bob. I'm just delirious with the Valiant. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, what's the ladder for? Ted got it out this morning. Set a trap for a possum. Possum? In the roof? Oh, trap's no good. I got just the thing. Love catching possums. Come on, we'll get him while Ted's at the pub. Oh, I don't know, Bob. You know what Ted's like? Ted won't know anything about it. I got it in the back of the car. What have you got in the back of the car? A surefire, cannot miss, grabber of a possum. Oh, I don't know. Ted will be back. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> Turn the roof off with that. It's just salt Peter. It'll only stun him. Go on, hold the ladder. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's dark up here. <coughs> Can you see anything yet? No, I can't see. Struth! <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> He's huge. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Someone should blow Bob up. Are you feeling better, dear? Yeah, things are on the up and up. I can hear again. Oh, good. Well, lunch won't be long. Let us pop the chops under the griller. A grill the chops? Are you mad woman on my barbecue day? No, we're going to do them properly in flames. But, Ted, are you sure you're up to it? Your bandages might catch on fire. <laughs> Listen, a barbecue I want, a barbecue I shall have. Matches, thank you, Filmer. Right, the ball pit barbecue is about to begin. Stand by for fun. believe it. He's the kiss of death, that man. Somebody up there hates him. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. Someone should blow Lennox Walker up. Oh, <laughs> never mind, Ted. I'll grill the chops. No, never. We're going to have a barbecue come hell or high water. I've cooked in worse conditions. What do you mean? During the war, I cooked all through that and they were shooting at me then. <laughs> Only after they tasted your food. <laughs> Watch it, Bill. Right, now clear the kitchen. Why? Because I'm going to barbecue in here. You all got paper plates? Mm -hmm. Mum, this is crazy. Why can't we sit up at the table? Because your father wants it to be a proper barbecue. You know, uncomfortable. <laughs> More peanuts, anyone? Oh, if I have another peanut, I'll grow a tail. Can't we just go down to Colonel Sanders like we always do on barbecue days? Oh, stop bitching, Merle. You're ruining everyone's day. Oh, shut up, Bob. My day's already ruined. How? <laughs> Bob woke up this morning. <laughs> Very funny, Merle. How long's he gonna be? By the time we get this lunch, it'll be breakfast. Ted, everything all right in there? Everything's bonza, Phil. Isn't it fun, everybody? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Awful lot of smoke, Ted. Are you sure everything's all right? Oh, everything's terrific, Phil. It reminds me of the war. <laughs> I think I'll go and give Ted a hand. <clears throat> More peanuts, anyone? <coughs> oh, God, Ted. <coughs> what are you cooking, an old mattress? <laughs> get out of my kitchen. What kitchen? You burn it down, haven't you? <laughs> Listen, watch it, mate. Just get out. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. <coughs> yeah, sure, Ted. You stop saying that. <coughs> How's it going, Bob? God knows. We're either having burnt chops or he's cooking the heat beads. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know how you can stand it in there. It smoked me out. Of course. That's it. What? The possum. Oh. That's how we get him. Smoke him out. Where's me gun? Oh, Bob, are you sure this is wise? Who cares? It's fun. Bob, settle down. Shut up, Merle. <laughs> Great. I'm getting worried about that smoke. It's getting thicker and thicker. Ted! Ted, are you sure everything's all right? Ooh. No, everything's fine, Phil. Oh, it's terrific. I love my barbecue. I did, but the axe went straight through. <laughs> They're in there ruining me barbecue and killing me chops. What are you doing here? What's more than a point, sir, is what are you doing?
trying to have lunch. That's the most ridiculous thing I've heard of since that bloke in Nemajara Avenue try, said he was trying to smoke a possum out of his roof. Of course, pickle me grandmother, the possum. <coughs> you were having possum for lunch? How dare you burst into this pathetic little people's pathetic little house. <laughs> What's your name and number? I'll have your hose for this. <laughs> What's your name, madam? Mrs. Bob Bulpit. Oh, no, Bob. He's up in the roof with... Yeehaw! So help me, Bob, if I ever survive this, I'm going to kill you. Teddy boy, it wasn't my fault. You shouldn't look so much like a possum. <laughs> Jeez, what happened? What's been going on here today? Well... A long story, Craig. Oh, no, don't tell me. Let me have one guess. Would I be right in saying that the Barbecue King has struck again? Well, I don't want to talk about it. Oh. OK, Dad. Oh, I guess what I found in the driveway. What? A possum. Oh. You, you, you got him. Where is he? Well, I don't know. He was a bit groggy, so I helped him up the big gum tree around the side. The tree! That's how he got here in the first place! 